As cases surge and restrictions are once again added across the state, researchers at USC are pointing to a study that people grew tired of following the rules as early as two months into the pandemic. And the study found differences in compliance based on gender, race, and age. I spoke with Professor Eileen Crimmins about pandemic fatigue. Professor Crimmins, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome, Peter. Glad to be here. Tell us about the study and what was found. So we looked at how people uh, adopted uh, mitigating behaviors, which are things like wearing masks and washing hands, as well as how they responded to risky behaviors, which are things like uh, uh, visiting people in their homes inside, um, having people visit you, uh, getting together with friends and relatives. And um, we uh, watched over time and uh, from the beginning of the pandemic, well, from uh, the beginning of March through the end of June. And what we found was that people were um, increasingly willing after the initial month to wear masks, to wa wash hands, um, to do to not go to grocery stores, to uh, not see people uh, that that would be seen as risky. But what happened after the first month was that I think people grew tired of not seeing the people close to them, and they started to visit with family and friends and they started to have more interaction with people in their own homes and see more relatives. So over time, um, both younger and older people did more of that after the initial month, but um, older people still um, behaved a little better, I would say, than younger people. So older people behave better than younger people. Do you think, Professor Crimmins, that Pandemic fatigue is a major factor as to why we're seeing such a, a sharp rise in cases, a spike? Well, I think that's evidence of pandemic fatigue. And the estimates now are that a good portion of the cases come from uh, getting together with family and friends in small, relatively small groups. And I think that's what's been hard for people to maintain for a long time. It's easy enough to wear a mask when you go out and it's easy enough to keep washing your hands, but it's difficult not to see the people that you love and have relationships with uh, month after month after month. And I think that's what uh, the fatigue is with the pandemic.